Hello everybody, how y'all doing on this Tuesday? I am doing fantastic. As you can see, I'm in a very good mood. <laughs> Actually, uh, I know the weather has something is partly uh, what to do with it. Skies are beautiful blue today with pretty white puffy clouds. Normal, typical after um, some you know tropical systems usually go through an area. It's very very beautiful. Actually, it in some ways yeah it does remind me back uh, when I used to live back in Virginia and we would get uh, the hurricanes through and so forth. Um, uh, usually before and after you'd have those beautiful blue skies with those pretty white puffy cottony type clouds and everything that we go through um, but it also takes me it back even further a little bit um, before we settled in Virginia we lived a couple of years in uh, North Carolina Wilmington and it reminds me uh, a lot of those days that we had we used to my mom and I used to go down to uh, we lived like right on the border of, of Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach and so, yeah, we would go uh, over to um, Wrightsville Beach uh, quite frequently in the summer and everything, or even in the winter, you know, um, just to, to walk along the beach or what have you. Um, my, both my parents and I would do that, but during, during the summertime, uh, during the day when my dad was at work, we would go to the beach quite a bit. It just reminds me a lot of that. I, I know it's just been pretty it's been very euphoric uh today for me so and then and then the um it's been a little bit humid and so forth you know of course it feels great on my skin and you know that's so dry you know with living in the desert and everything it's just been one of those euphoric sort of days for me i can't help it but anyway <laughs> I don't know, maybe this reading also has something to do with it. So yeah, speaking of reading, let's go ahead and dive into this. And you know what? I'm going to turn the camera just real quick, show you all. Look who's laying there sleeping next to me today, little Miss Possum. I'm not going to bug her. I'm just going to leave her alone. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and dive into this reading. Yeah. Cool. I was able to get the computer back. Right. All right. First up, as always, the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. Find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us. All right. First up is uh, from the bottom of the deck, the number 61 card. That's the 6 1 card. Turkey Spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Okay. Definitely. A lot about this guy has been kind of popping up here lately. Maybe not so much in the readings, but definitely, you know, like the card at the very bottom of the deck or maybe the next card after the first two cards being pulled or whatever. I've been seeing him a little bit here lately. So, um, yeah, it might have something to do, uh, something going on. All right. All right. Second card from the top of the deck, uh, the number 17 card. That's the 1 7 card. Crow Spirit, co create with Spirit. Okay. All right. And the last card, um, also from the top of the deck, the number 31 card. That's the 3 1 card. The Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. So maybe. Uh, and all this added up to one. So maybe it has something to do with um, um, maybe donation time. We are coming up on holidays. I know kids are starting to go back to school and so forth. And that, of course, very first holiday we have uh, coming up. Going to be Halloween unless you celebrate uh, May Bon. Uh, with uh, you know the fall equinox and so forth. Or excuse me, autumn equinox or what have you. Uh, and then that would be the very first holiday. But for the general pop, um, definitely Halloween, you know, and then of course we have Thanksgiving and, and um, uh, Hanukkah and uh, Christmas and, um, oh shoot, I'm trying to think the, the Islam um, holiday during that time. It's escaping me. And I've had many Muslim friends in the past and for whatever reason it's it's just escaping me uh, so but anyway yeah you know what I'm talking about so yeah a lot you know and of course Kwanzaa and so on and so forth uh you know all about you know this, we do have that time of year definitely coming up okay so maybe it's time to start going into your closets 
let you know with letting letting go maybe go into your closets your storage areas and so forth maybe start clearing some stuff out figuring out okay what what sort of uh, stuff that you don't want anymore maybe start gathering those up so that way you can get them ready to go um, to head on out to the donation centers maybe okay either way especially since we have my microphone doesn't like me a lot today Especially since we have these two guys here looking at each other, you know, the crow spirit and uh, the groundhog spirit looking at each other. Maybe it's time to co-create with spirit to let some things go, okay? Let, get rid of some cl clutter, but give it away with gratitude and grace. Whether it's actual physical stuff that you're going to be donating or maybe just doing that inner work and getting rid of some things um, that's inside here let it go all right okay second deck uh, that I was called to today the herb crafters tarot I was called to another deck uh, first thing this morning and then all of a sudden bam I got called to this one and I understand why okay all right this one I do the um, uh, spirit wheel okay so we have east south west and north and then the middle is basically um, uh, the heart of the spread all right uh, east representing new beginning four of fire it would be the four of wands in the traditional deck elder okay basically a uh, new beginning of of um, celebration you know get that magic going and so forth you know it's a new beginning of magical of being a magical person you know because you're getting that self-confidence and so forth it's time for to get that magic going all right what's going uh in the south what is feeling your passion your your fire adelita of earth it would be the uh knight of pentacles the yucca basically uh what this uh, this card is telling you is get back to your uh, uh roots you know do you know get to, uh and um you know putting a new spin on some things maybe things that um you may have some traditions or whatever that maybe you, you and your family did and so forth put a new spin on it and see how you like it see how it goes okay that can be maybe that can be your new passion all right all right in the west position which re represents your feelings seven of air which is the seven of swords eucalyptus be cautious of things that people are telling you go inside listen to yourself L what is your heart telling you what don't listen to what's going on up here either listen to what's going on in here okay just be cautious about certain things that we had th this uh come up yesterday as well just be a little cautious on what p uh, people are telling you and so forth ultimately listen to what is going on in here okay all right the north position what's going to help ground you seven of earth which is the seven of pentacles the oak you got this same as yesterday with the challenges with the um um basically the um coast redwood card that very very strong you are what is going to ground you is your strength relying on your ancestors Get digging your root, get roots into the ground really, really hard, and so forth, and standing your ground, listening to your heart, and following your heart. Also, being true to yourself, being true to the land, being true to nature, following in the seasons. You know, um, going at your own pace and so forth, going at your own growth pace. All right, part of this here with uh, being cautious with listening to others and listening to your heart go at your own pace especially when it comes to your own growth and ascension process okay all right in the heart another seven card we have three seven cards here this one is the seven of fire which uh, is, corresponds with the seven of wands cinnamon okay get that fire passion going definitely overcome those challenges most definitely you can do this you've got this okay and basically this all, all also adds up to one and and with looking up you know the three sevens as far as angel numbers are concerned all about that divine inspiration 
getting with yourself, feeling great with yourself, okay? All this adds up to two, all right? All about partnerships, co-create with spirit, all right? Like, subscribe, share, uh, go to the blog. I love you all. Talk to you all tomorrow.